to ensure that our students were honored, our current students were honored by amazing Hoover alums and then Mr. Padre himself, uh, Tony Gwynn. Two San Diego icons are now being celebrated through the vision of art. A mural featuring Ted Williams and Tony Gwynn was unveiled today at Hoover High School. And new at 5 o'clock, ABC 10 News reporter Steve Smith introduces us to the artists behind it. Ted Williams, a Hoover High School grad, and Mr. Padre Tony Gwynn will forever be a part of the Hoover High School campus. Thanks to a brand new mural for all students, faculty, and visitors to see. I'm really excited that our students now get to walk by this and see the excellence that has been at Hoover High School and see them in the reflection of the mural itself. The project came to be through the efforts of the San Diego Unified School District who wanted a mural of both Williams and Gwynn to represent a source of inspiration. And not only are the two San Diego icons, they had a relationship that extended well beyond the field of play. As you might say, they were brothers for life. These two men became friends, were from unlikely backgrounds, and through baseball had a relationship that transcended their ages, the times in which they played, and their racial backgrounds. And through the strokes of a paintbrush and the vision of artist Johnny Pucci, the two San Diego baseball legends now sit side by side overlooking the Hoover High School campus. In my own art practice, I believe that I have a responsibility to highlight important figures from our communities. And while Gwen did not attend Hoover High School, his wife Alicia says she's honored and humbled to see the mural. A few days before Tony passed away, one of his requests was, don't let the people forget about me. The mural represents the power of sports, which translates to life in general. Students are the ones that are going to be changing the way society is for the better. So for them to see a representation of that in a visual perspective is an amazing experience for them. Steve Smith, ABC 10 News.